The centerpiece of Canada's effort to restore order in Haiti is sanctions. And we call on international partners to do the same and impose sanctions on the individuals that we've just sanctioned. Fifteen high-profile men, including former President Michel Martelly, have been sanctioned since early November. Well, it made huge news. And the, the reaction was that finally something was happening. And I think people rejoice because of that. Oh, at least somebody's doing something. There's no question that sanctioned individuals have wealth in Canada. Take Haitian ex-senator Ronnie Celestin, accused by a fellow senator of ordering the killing of a journalist, which Celestin denies. He says his wealth comes from an oil and shipping company, but a search by CBC News could find little sign that such a large business exists. His wife is Haiti's current consul in Montreal, where they bought this suburban mansion in 2020. And actually bought the house for, we're talking about 4250000 cash. It was Montreal activist Franz André who first drew attention to the purchase of the mansion. Some Haitians believe Ottawa could do more. The section is kind of like a, a, so, a smoke screen just to, you know, justify that, yes, Canada is taking a leadership role. It is an emblematic case and the most obvious one. And uh, so I think it behooves us for Canada to uh, explain why it is that it hasn't moved forward with this case in particular, as well as all the others. The government of Canada says sanctions can have an invisible effect by discouraging transactions, and they have a reputational effect on those sanctions. They can make their lives harder. But there are Haitians waiting for Canada to actually seize or freeze the ill-gotten gains of their country's power elite, and so far that hasn't happened. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Ottawa.